Hi everyone, I'm going to continue the series of the Dakiomi today. We are on Lamed Tet, that is page number 39 of my second sota at the moment. Here, everyday Dakiomi. So today we're talking about learning different halachot, different Talmudic laws, different uh, laws also derived from the Shulchan Aruch in today's daf, which is quoted by a Rabbi Zera in the name of. And a very interesting daf today, we learned the power of Amen, saying the word Amen and saying blessings. It used to be back in the day when there was a Torah reading in the Talmudic times that there used to also be a Metargem, someone that will translate actually the Hebrew text. Because at the time, the standard language was Arabic at that stage in time. So they needed a special Metargem, uh, a translator, when it came to uh, when it came to the Kriyat Torah. But what's important is some of the halakhot that is discussed in today's Talmud is that when the reader of the Kriyat Torah is going to say the bracha, he is not allowed to, the congregation has to say amen unequivocally and it can't be continued, the service. And only once they have said amen, then he can start reading and can start the Torah with this translation. Another interesting thing is that people can't just say amen quickly, they have to wait till the bracha has been finished to be said also. So there's going to be a patience. And we see the importance of saying brachot. There's a, an enactment which is related over in the Torah that uh, one should say a hundred brachot a day, hundred blessings a day. So that's why a lot of uh, the pious rabbonim back in the day were very strict to make sure that they would get their hundred brachot. Obviously it can be uh, come uh, within regards to Shemone Esrei or eating the various different fruits, saying Mazanot or Shavon or whatever it might have been. But in the today, it, it advocates how it's got to be clear, how one's got to wait to hear the bracha and how the reader has got to wait till the congregation says Amen. Another interesting thing, it talks about Targum, someone that translates the Hebrew text back in the day. So the standard language then was in Aramaic. Nowadays, interesting enough, some of the Yemenites, the, Tem the Temani communities, they still use the Matargem as part of their Torah service on Shabbat or whatever it might be. So that's a very interesting thing to learn. Today the stuff is uh, page 39 on the second Sultan. Sorry about the noise and have a great day. Take care. Bye.